Sean Ray here at the conclusion of the 2015 Europa Sports Festival with our winners, as Bob called it, in the 212-pound division. What's his name for Seoul, Korea? King. King. Wong. Like a poor marksman. <laughs> yeah. well, King Wan Kong. Yeah, say that ten times. The I, tongue I, twister. I did say it ten times tonight. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This guy is trouble. He is absolutely, I'll say it right now, he is taking somebody out of that top five this year at that 212. This kid's for real. Yeah, there's no question that uh, James Flex Lewis and, and the veteran, Jose Raymond, are going to have to take notice of this kid because he actually lives in New Jersey. Oh, but really? the thing is, he's 41 years young. You would never know that. So he's older than both Jose, and he's old, well, I think Jose's right there with him. Yeah. Uh, but he's definitely older than uh, James Flex Lewis. So we'll make things interesting come September. No surprise in that victory. I mean, where does that leave Sammy Al Haddad? Still having to qualify to get there. Well, he's got to qualify. He was second place here, but I mean, this kid was good. Obviously, he ran into, you know, a little trouble with him. But Sammy looked excellent. Um, you know what? There's a few shows left. Uh, he could probably get a victory there, and I'd like to see him on the Olympia stage. But uh, I tell you what, King was right at the top of the list, uh, 211 pounds on the yeah. way in, and I'm telling you, he is complete. He is thick. He looks like he's 15 pounds bigger than what he is. Like I said, that's trouble for somebody at the Olympia. Yeah, and I mean, hats off to Craig Richardson pulling into th third place over Tricky Jackson. If Craig Richardson stays the course, finds the right show, he too can find his way to the Olympia showdown in Las Vegas. But the story of the night is Fred Biggie Smalls finally showed up and picked the right show. Now, I won't say that that was the best I've seen Fred Biggie Smalls. There's some things he can improve on, most definitely with the hamstrings get rid of a little bit more water but he was the more complete of all the bodybuilders being that Ronaldo the first runner up was a little light in the muscle department yeah I mean thickness and, and time paid off uh, for Freddie um, yeah I mean he can improve a little bit more this was one of the better versions I've seen of Freddie tends to come in a little watery as you know um, so congratulations to him he's been working hard I know he works with George Farah and they've been you know kind of mixing with the, with this formula to try to get it right to get him in uh, they, so they pushed it a little bit, paid off. Well, let me tell you, the guy did a world traveling trek. I mean, the guy lives in Delaware, flies all the way down to Brazil, comes back to Delaware, goes over to Toronto, gets very close, by the way, a runner-up, yeah. I believe it was, in Toronto, and finally lands in victory here in Dallas. And in third place, uh, a big Akeem Williams. I mean, if he stays on his diet and goes into Chicago, that's the guy that could, could make a big uh, splash out there. Yeah, he's huge. I mean, he's got a lot of muscle on that frame, and he's still got a small waist. He's got to watch it a little bit. Uh, controlling that abdominal, the abdominal muscles. Um, but like Lee Thompson said at the athletes meeting, he, they're going to be looking for that. They're keying on it these days. If that's a problem for you, it's, it's going to definitely take you down. He could have placed a little bit higher. He's also got to get that skin a little bit thinner. Uh, but I tell you what, if he finds that formula, that guy could be winning a show. Well, one of the side stories is the veteran, three-time former champion Tony Freeman at 49 years young. This is a contest, again, he should have been on paper in the mix, and he did not make the top five here. Are we starting to see the writing on the wall for Tony Freeman? Tony's 49 years old, bro. He's our age. And the fact that he's even on the stage competing with these guys is nothing short of miraculous. However, there's a difference. Uh, and you can see that difference on stage. The X-Man, not quite what he used to be. Again, still formidable, but to not make a top five in this type of a show, you know, that's something you want to see Tony either, you know, find that, that formula and fountain of youth uh, and get yourself up there or hang him up. But he's going to have to make a decision somewhere in there. Uh, I'm not so sure we've seen the last of the X-Men. I think we can still see a little bit, maybe one more year out of, out of Tony. Uh, once you get to 50, man, I think the nail's got to go on the wall. Absolutely. I mean, unless, of course, you're like Vince Taylor. But that being said, let's talk about who wasn't here. This was not a contest full of depth. However, the most notable absentee was last year's champion in Branch Warren, who still at this point is not qualified for the Mr. Olympia. Well, we got a whole bunch of names, Sean. We got Branch Warren. You got Steve Kukla, who is here in attendance, uh, but he's going to be going in the Wings of Strength show uh, August 22nd. Um, you got Cedric McMillan. Cutting it close. Yeah, he's cutting it close. I mean, there's only a few left. I mean, you've only got, what, three shows left? Uh, you got Chicago, you got Atlantic City, you got Tampa. That's about it. I mean, so if you ain't getting on there, you ain't got enough points, you're out. Uh, but, you know, Cedric McMillan. You know, where's he? I it's mean, there's, crazy. yeah, it is crazy when you think about it. Branch Warren is, is sitting solid second in the points, and he'll, he can probably mathematically get himself there. Um, but that wasn't really Branch's M.O., especially last year. He was adamant that he did not want to point his way into there. Maybe that mindset's changed now. Sure. Trying to have a baby. All things that kind of, yeah, all, you know, things will change really quick. Uh, so I'm not so sure you'll see Branch Warren. Now, again, I don't think that's necessarily a tactical error. Um, he can save himself. I mean, Branch has even said he's only got so many shows left in him. 
Uh, so he's got to make hay while the sun shines on the Olympia stage. I, uh, he's probably pretty safe in the points. I say wait and go in the Olympia. Well, let's say he's got to qualify to get it. Well, on the points, right. But uh, the worst case scenario, he shows up in Atlantic City on a surprise, and Steve Kuklo may run into a, a brick house in that. But again, Justin Compton, Dallas McCarver. I mean, the youth of tomorrow is not here. Evan Senapani. It's almost like this guy sailed off into the sunset. Well, Dallas qualified. Remember, he won he California. Uh, and I, but I'm hoping, you know, we've talked about this before. You talk about Compton, you, you talk about Dallas McCarver, you know, the, the young Lions that are coming up. Will they be on the Olympia stage? Now, Justin Compton has already said he's not going to go in the Olympia this year. I think that's a mistake. I think he is good enough to get out there. He could definitely be rocking somebody in the that top. He's, I think he's easily a top 10 guy. Might even push for the top six, but why take another year off? Well, I mean, he did that a year ago. And he had an opportunity. Well, anyways, uh, the story of the night is the guys that are competing. And getting back to our champion, Fred Biggie Smalls, four kids, come the long way, finally got his first pro victory here in Dallas. For Bob Chicarillo, I'm Sean Ray, MuscleDevelopment.com.